Hey guys, what is up? Uh, thank you for joining. Welcome back to another episode of the Thursday Travel Show. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Carl from Healy Adventures and I post travel adventure content around Southeast Asia right now and around the world in general. So if you are into that kind of content, don't forget to subscribe. You'll be helping me out a lot as well as hit that bell button to be notified every time that I post. I won't be bugging you a lot, trust me. It is the last episode out of Laos. It features two spectacular uh, road trips and it also includes an insane 120 meter high zip line uh, over a beautiful waterfall. So yeah, stay tuned. Dreaming of tomorrow, soaking up the sun. We can go and find the magic. Yeah, we could run away. So I just want to start this video, this episode, by saying that Sean and I, by this point, we split up after three to four months of being side by side in each other's faces, day and night, decided to split up, we decided to go our own ways. I really thank Sean for that because he was a great travel buddy. Sean had some friends he could travel with. I had Charlotte. For those of you who don't know Charlotte, she's my Finnish friend who did Kefalonia with me, around Gozo with me. So if you've been following me for a little while, you know who she is. And from then on, we went to the first road trip, which was the Takek Loop. And we're gonna spend two days there. Every step, it won't all be easy. So when you feel like you've got nothing left, keep going. So the Takek Loop roads are actually quite scenic, and besides them being scenic, the roads are actually nice to drive a motorbike in. Things have got off to a weird start. We missed all the attractions because uh, we made a mistake, but we basically will be doing them at the end of the trip tomorrow, like when we need to go back. And we're going to do what we're meant to be doing tomorrow, basically today. So we switched them around. You'll find all these dead trees, basically, Unfortunately, it's a sad story. Uh, after they built a dam, the valleys over flooded and it caused hundreds of trees to die. So today we are starting off with all the marks we missed yesterday. Our first stop is the rabbit hole. Uh, rabbit hole? Golden rabbit. Golden rabbit, okay. Golden rabbit cliff climb. Uh, and it's basically just made out of stairs. It's 10,000 kip, which is like one euro. And these stairs are basically, if you miss your step, you can easily break your foot. So. Do it first, not when you're tired. <laughs> you can make it, don't lose heart. Oh, keep going. It's stronger than you think you are. You can make it, don't lose heart. Keep going.
So once the Takek loop was done, it was time to get a bus and go to Faxi for the next loop. We arrived quite early and had a day there and we would be starting our journey the next day. Charlotte wanted to learn how to drive a bike, so we decided to... I taught her that day basically and she just went for it, you know, the good old, just don't fall. And she, she did that quite well. And the next day we're off on the Paxi loop, also known as the Bolaven Plateau loop. And you can either do it again, either in two or four days. We decided to do the short one, we had just come from another loop. So the Paxi loop is known for the tens of waterfalls there are, honestly. Uh, it's insane the number of waterfalls there is on this loop. And it's also known for the coffee plantations. Now Charlotte and I weren't really interested in that, so we're just going for the waterfalls. The roads were not as fun as the Takek loop. There was a lot of uh, straight roads uh, and highways until you get obviously to the part next to the waterfall. So in terms of driving a bike, unfortunately, it wasn't as fun as the Takek loop. To be alive. We then head off to the town we would be sleeping in because that's where the next two waterfalls would be. However, there was a long drive and we hadn't eaten yet, so we decided to stop at a pit stop restaurant on the side. We were quite scared to order the fish and the meat because it looked like they were there in the sun for hours with flies flying around it. So we decided to get a whole watermelon and basically she cut the watermelon with the same knife she was cutting the meat with which was a massive mistake but you'll uh, find out why later when you have a wedding till 5 p.m but need to go swim And then after swimming, you obviously need to shower. So you'll put shampoo while in a suit or rather smart clothes. And the problems began that night. Charlotte began to feel sick, and unfortunately, she woke up during the night. The next morning, it was a tough morning for her. Since she was feeling sick, we decided to go straight back to the Paxi city and just stop uh, to one waterfall out of the many many waterfalls and that was Tad Fane, we saw pictures of it and we just had to stop there. It took us around two hours to get to the Tad Fane waterfall and now I started feeling a bit weak too. So we were both a bit sick, uh, so we decided not to go to the base of the waterfall we just went to the Tad Fane Resort. What we didn't know at this Tad Fane Resort was that there was a zip line oh going from the resort to the waterfall. So you would be literally going on a zip line over a 120 meter fall. What the now, heck? I don't know if you understand how high that is, but uh, it made us completely forget about how, how sick we were feeling and I just wanted to do it straight away. My adventure kicked in and after a little while Charlotte was convinced too so we were about to do this amazing adventure. I think that would protect you before 120 minutes. <laughs> Crazy. 
was it? Yeah, I know. Amazing. You need to do it. You really need to do it. It's worth the price. Oh my god, when you go get out of the Alright, now that you've seen it, I really don't think I need to explain how I felt in this uh, zip line. I mean, the video says it all. All I can say is that it was worth every penny, and if you are going to the Paxi Loop, it is a must. And then we decided to eat at the resort, and two hours passed because we were taking it super slow, and again, we're feeling super weak. Uh, now that the adrenaline rush had passed, we're both just, you know, feeling weak, sick, and we just wanted to go home. So we decided just to head off, went to the parking lot, and uh, my eyes were quite... I, I wore contact lenses and my eyes were pretty dry from the zip line, so I decided uh, to wear my glasses for the motorbike ride because they would get even drier. And to my... I'd say anger or to my I, I don't know what to call it I realized that I left my, my my glasses my spectacles at the last place we slept in which was two hours away and they were my only spectacles I didn't have any others so you know it was a case of either go and I had to go for them and then go back to the city so in total Google Maps told me it would take around four hours if I'm not mistaken or three and a half hours and you know I just had a moment of do I just forget about my glasses but I do use them a lot or just f it and go for it now keep in mind obviously I was feeling sick it was the last thing I wanted uh, but yeah I mean I had no other choice I, I needed those glasses so uh, I let I told Charlotte bye because obviously she wasn't gonna stay coming with me she went back to the city and yeah I set off on my three hour and a half journey uh, to the place and back to the city now since my parents actually watch my vlogs uh, I'm not going to explain how I turn a three and a half hour journey as stated by Google Maps into a two hour one but I will tell you it was one hell of a journey I finally made it to the Paxi hostel we were staying in. Uh, I got there by, by around 7 p.m. and I just went on the bed and slept. Didn't even shower, didn't even eat. I just slept and woke up at 6 a.m. the next morning. I was exhausted, I was so tired. I just needed to sleep. So it was time to leave Paxi and it was time to go chill at the Si Fandon. Now the Si Fandon are the 4,000 islands in the Mekong River in the south of Laos. Uh, half of them are actually submerged in water once the river is flooded in winter. So yeah, but there are three main islands for tourists and we were going to Don Det. So on the first day of Don Det, we arrived to our hostel by 11 a.m. Uh, I was still feeling weak and sick. Charlotte, uh, by that time, whatever she had, had paused. So she decided to go to the beach. And I spent the next couple of hours literally going to the toilet and back every 20 minutes. Uh, my bug was at its peak right now. I was feeling shit. And uh, I mean that, that literally every 20 minutes, it was terrible. Night time came and now I actually had to puke which was terrifying me because I googled uh, any clinics or hospitals and there were none uh, close to me and I was scared I was going to, I mean these were signs of gastroenteritis and I was scared of getting uh, dehydrated so I kept drinking but obviously I mean you know I was taking medication none of it seemed to work and yeah, you just get a bit scared, to be honest. Uh, it was, I think, one of the worst times I've ever been sick in my life and definitely the worst time in, uh, in my travels. But, uh, you know, I took more medication, I slept and by the next morning it seemed to have gone. And yeah, basically for the next couple of days we knew we were going to be traveling again to Cambodia, full day of traveling, so we just wanted to chill. And honestly, for the next few days, all we did was play cards, watch sunset, and just hang out by the river. It was quite an awesome chill time.
Was it funny? Was it, it was funny? It. <laughs> so that is it on today's episode. That was the last vlog of Laos. And I'm pretty sure if you've watched the last two vlogs, you are itching to go to Laos. Uh, if you have enjoyed that, don't forget to subscribe and maybe share it with your friends who you might want to, you know, encourage them to come with you to Laos. Uh, from next week, we are going to Cambodia. Now, I know on my channel, uh, Cambodia is not really in a positive light with the documentary I made and went viral with Unilad, but I want to set the record straight especially uh, in terms of Cambodia as a beautiful country. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, bye bye. I love you.